Hey, yeah, it's Brandon, and welcome back to Gladius. Recall last time we uh, just beat up some secutors here after gaining our access to the town. And uh, our dog is being very loud. Probably because my dad's home from work on this nice Saturday. But, uh, um, I don't think any of these are really that easy to do. Like, can we do Arcanum? We might be able well, we don't have four people yet. I will probably wait until we have four people. Because this is a hard battle. Oh, but it says prohibited support. Dang it. Come on. Come on, game. Well, we can probably try a little Menticus. Let's see what it is. I see. I don't remember what the battles are exactly. And required heavy. It's odd. Uh, we might be okay. See, I don't, I don't remember all these battles that well. Oh, is that required? No, it's not. Okay. I was going to say, that better not be required. But we got a level 2, so I think we can handle this one. We have combat advantage on two of them. I just got to keep Cerberus out of the range of the Legionnaires, and we should be okay. Now, bandits. Bandits are interesting. I like bandits. Bandits are my friends. I'll get one later. But I'll get a very specific bandit, because I need a very specific bandit. And I can't get him in this region, unfortunately. Wow, okay. It's a weird... Arena. They got a cart in here. They got some boxes. We're gonna unpower self. So yeah, each arena can change like this, and it's pretty interesting. You don't, you never exactly know what the arena's gonna look like when you get into it. Was one of the cool parts of the game. Oh, the dodge, the dodge, and you see people move between turns, which is really nice. And we'll take a hit on this legionnaire. We're going to try to kill the medium types first. Even though I do have combat advantage on the lights, I would like to keep Cerberus safe. Because his damage output is not bad, actually. It's better than I remember. And now, oh, good. Oh my, look at that. Ludo, calm down. I know you're level 2 and all, but seriously, jeez. Destruction. Level 2 is so much better than level 1, it's ridiculous. And hopefully we have 25 popularity after this so we can get Cerberus. Or get uh, Quinerius. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh. Uh, strikes. Mm. Uh, the dead bodies now do disappear. Not the dead bodies. The bodies do disappear. So you can you can wait for them to disappear, which is what I'm going to do. And if you notice, these is the same. I think I think we're fighting the same school that we did the training with, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna take out this one simply because um, Cerberus is fighting the other one. Oh my gosh, the damage! You can do it, Cerberus. Seems like an awful lot of bug matching for not that much damage, but, you know. That's okay. Ooh, dodged you, son. Get on my level. Actually, don't get on my level, because then I won't have my combat advantage. <laughs> anyway, Luda's going to go take him on. And now we get some flanking bonus with Sir, so we can get some actual good damage off. And it might seem like I'm doing this really fast, but you need to do it this fast, especially later, because there's ones that go a lot faster, and I, I need to be doing it faster than this even, if I stand any chance of being good at this game later on. And uh, not doing too much damage back. All right, let's unleash a... Oh, my gosh, look at that. Combo attack, too. If I hit all the criticals, I might be able to kill him. Oh, my... Ludo, you... You monster. What are you doing? Oh, the damage. I love this game. There we go. Alright, let's hit him one more time with a running attack. Let's see what that does. Pretty good. Oh, he's almost dead, actually. And we get extra critical hit damage, which is cool. So that did a little more damage than it normally would have, because we had full crowd. Which should hopefully give us enough popularity. Cross your fingers, everyone. Experience forever. Woo! We got it. Okay. Cool. Uh, um, 
I need to make a little bit more money, though. But, hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure I want to do this, because... Okay, so basically, there's a badge, right? Let me explain this now. There's a badge that requires certain type of gladiators that I'm not going to keep. That I don't want to train, really. Right? <clears throat> that I want to get it out of the way really quick. But I don't have enough money, I don't think, to be able to do that right now. Uh, I need three slots open. I think. I'm pretty sure it's three. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get everybody up to level two. I'm going to try to finish this region. Hostius Levis. I think this is an easy one. Oh, wait, there's five people, though. Yeah. And if support's not allowed, I'm not doing that. Support's not allowed here, either. Yeah, I think I'm going to come back and do this later. <laughs> don't have the don't have their equipment quite for this one. All right, let's do the open league, then. Uh, generally, open leagues are pretty easy battles that don't require entry fees. A lot of battles do require entry fees, so you have to do some startup money. But most towns do have, like I said, entry battles. So we're going to use our three level ones. Here's the first opportunity that we actually have more gladiators than slots. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be leaving a lot of gladiators behind most of the time. But since Ludo has a lot more experience than the rest of us, I'm pretty safe in leaving him behind. Considering we're only fighting two people, it's pretty easy. All right, so... Medium type is down here. We'll have Valens protected from the heavy type. And we'll have our support type and our light type fight the heavy type. Because support types can get attacks off quicker than heavies can move, doing some good damage. And of course, light types have the combat advantage. So, good stuff. Invisible loading here. Basically, before I, before I get the... Before I do that one stupid badge that I was talking about, um, I'm going to uh, get another Legionnaire, another medium type, actually. I think uh, I might get a more Milo or a Legionnaire. I'm not sure. I'm still debating. It may not even happen in this episode. I don't know. But, uh, you know, power. Well, actually, the AI kind of targets the nearest object, so I need to get closer so he doesn't go after our light type. See, there we go. Perfect. And our Peltis should be able to get a nice shot right on the back. Oh, my gosh. See, Peltis are really cool because look at this. Long throw costs zero. He gets a strike, which is horrible. You do no damage with strike. You have to move into melee range. But long throw is basically like a... It's a long distance move. It's pretty... You can see the squares that it affects. And you have to check the line of sight, like I said. You have to check the line of sight. I can hit him, of course. And, um... Basically... It's free, so I can gain skill points while using a ranged attack, which is really good. Not all ranged units can do that. That's why I like Peltis. And oh my gosh, the damage. Look at that. It's a heavy type, too. And look at Cersei just blocks that. He's like, what are you doing, boy? What are you doing? And he should be able to finish him off here. So we're handling this pretty well, I'd say. Uh. Very nice. Now it's three on one. There's no hope for this medium type over here. Comes to the power cell. Because that's going to do more benefit in the long run. Um, probably going to want to move right there so we can hit him on the diagonal. And he'll dodge. Very nice. Surprised he didn't go after the light type, actually, but uh, that's okay. I'll take it. And boom. Basically, what I'm going to do on Cersei is get a bunch of move to attacks early game. I'm going to—he's got his running attack already. I'm going to get another move to attack. That is pretty interesting. That we'll get into later. And uh, that's going to be some mega damage. As you can see, I can't quite reach. Oh my gosh! Look at the damage on poor Cersei. I'm just going to pass so Quinn here can kill him. I don't want to spend the time. Um, it doesn't really matter how well your guy does in the battle. They'll get the same amount of experience anyway. So. There we go. Cut him down to size. 
And victory. Clear victory. We've won the battle. This is Rome Total War all of a sudden. Clear victory. All that garbage. And uh, as you can see, Quinera's got 50. There are only 50 XP for that one. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez, man. But we'll keep doing these. Um, what is Open Battle 6? Let's check the difficulty on this one. Oh, what do you think, guys? I think we could do this one. Level 2. He's got a helmet. And a nice pointy sword. Ah, oh, what the heck. Let's do it. Let's try it. Maybe I'll lose my first battle. Alright, so we got mediums here. Heavy. Medium and heavy. Okay, so we're gonna want him here. Probably Quinerius here. Uh, Luda's gonna have to take on the other level too. There's just no, no other way around that one. And then if Valence is, if Valence powers up, he can fight a, fight a heavy one on one pretty nicely actually. At this level, I mean later on the class differences matter quite a bit. You'd think to yourself, okay, class differences matter a lot early game, but you can overcome them later. Actually, it's kind of the other way around. <laughs> they get more separated. It seems like, at least. And this guy's got a sword, so he's more accurate than most. And this guy's got a hammer. Uh, basically, yeah, there's there's three different types of weapons. There's there's your heavy weapon. This, is, this counts for all melee people. There's your heavy weapon, like a hammer. Or a sword. Or, or a heavy weapon like a hammer, or. For the glory of Imperia. Um, not sure what else. Basically, hammers, huge battle axes, like giant weapons that do a lot of damage, but. Hmm, which one do I want to hit? We need to get rid of the heavy types. More so, I think. So heavy heavy weapons do a lot more damage, but are less accurate. And then there's your medium weapons, which is like your um, like spears. Spears are a good example of that one. They are very balanced. And then there's light weapons like swords, which are uh, very accurate, but don't do as much damage. Generally speaking, I like uh, I like the middle category the most early game, and then I like transitioning into the heavy weapons late game. Because uh, you can you can make your guy more accurate, but it's hard to make your guy do more damage if you don't have a good weapon. So I like damage. And uh, this guy's gonna be a little bit tough because he has a level two weapon. I only have a level one weapon, and he's gonna be doing a lot more damage than me. I didn't check his affinity. Hopefully, I can hit him with affinity. He'll be doing some good damage. And this guy's already half dead. Very nice. Did we dodge? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Alright, so we can start wailing away on this guy. This might be a little tough. A little tough. Uh, eventually, I might uh, start cutting out some battles. You guys will have to tell me. Uh, probably in the next region, I'll probably start cutting out some of the league battles that are unimportant. Maybe show like highlights of the league or something. And then I'll show all the tournament battles and all the really important battles. But uh, tell me what you guys think about that one. Because uh, eventually all these battles are going to add up quite a big time investment. So. But I should be able to record this game pretty easily. And, oh, really, bro? You just... Really, bro? That was a good move by him, though. I'll, I'll give him credit. But he's almost dead. Uh, we need Ludo to win over there because it's not going so hot over here, to be honest. He's got a combo attack. Only combo attack one. Ha, you noob! But as you can see, I'm out of skill points and I can no longer go for combo attack two. So, there's that. But I can finish him off with a fire affinity attack, which I will gladly do. Boom. Uh, affinity attacks do pretty good damage and they're. I, li I like using them as skill point rechargers because they don't cost skill points, so you can wait a turn, you know, and do good damage. They're pretty useful that way, I would say. And uh, Cersei definitely is the fastest guy in the field right now, so he's going to be getting a lot of moves. And uh, early game, like I said, 
Uh, Secretaries don't do much damage, but late game, man, they just destroy life. I also have Exploding Javelin. Which is interesting, it does area effect damage. Uh, it's the best way to hit somebody that's right next to you. But you also hit yourself. And I also hit Silver Seeker. I don't think I can kill him with a strike. I can try. But a strike is really weak on Peltists. Oh, we got him! Nice! Okay. I was worried that we wouldn't kill him with that. But, since we did, it all works out. And we'll keep attacking with Valens, who still has his buff on. Which is nice. And we're whittling him down very nicely. Oh, buff ran out. And Quineris is almost dead. Which is great. But Ludo has defeated his opponent, so he's going to walk over here. For the glory of and it's still dodge. Nice job, Valens. You haven't got hit once, have you? And you're about to have Infinity Attack next turn. Very cool. I need a drink of water, so I'll, I'll do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. You he? You kept capiche? Now, I'm going to do something a little weird here. I'm going to not go for the back attack. So that I can kill myself with Exploding Javelin. You might be saying, what? 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 No, it's going to be worth it, though. I'm going to do a big bit of damage. And it's going to end his uh, life here as a gladiator. So. This is actually the first character we've lost, I think. So. Yeah. It does more damage to yourself, which is kind of funny. Because you're kind of flanking yourself with your own attack. Uh, area effect spells have really weird hitboxes. But now, we're fighting two combat disadvantages right here. Which is kind of weird. Usually doesn't happen. So yeah, this is one of my favorite games. Um, you, can, you can tell just by the way I'm talking. I'm just really excited about it. Ooh, kills. Storms of Eris. Eris, the god of air. You might think an Eris, the god of air, really? Yeah, okay. Uh, the, uh, the other ones aren't too bad. Exuro is the god of fire. Wow, I don't remember the other ones. Um, yeah, I really don't. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll get, we'll get into it. I'll, I'll remember. I'll remember the different gods' names. I'm sure of it. But we can walk over here, and this should finish it off. Nicely played, guys. Good work, team. Uh, Quinaris, you sacrificed for a good, noble cause. The cause of victory. In the gladiator pit. Yes. And look at that cash, that cash. It's because it was a really hard battle. It was a rank three battle, three point battle. And there's another one point we can do. Uh, so, okay, so this is two people versus two people. So I'm gonna pick the two people with the least experience, which I'm gonna guess is gonna be our light type and our support. So we're gonna have a support war, let's do it. Uh, you have the light fighting the heavy, which is really nice for us, and then we're gonna have a support war, which I should win because I can get critical hits easier than the computer does, because the computer just uses randomly generated hits, but I use destruction. All right, can we hit him on the first turn? No, let him come to me on the first hit. Veneris has more initiative than this guy, though. I don't know why. But look at this damage we're going to do to him. Ooh. I love it. I love Peldus. He's going to do it back. Oh, you got a blue. But look at that. That does so much damage still. Peldus are just so good, I think. They just do so much damage. But Peldus' weakness is they can't really fight in melee. Not until late game. They do get a skill late game that lets them throw a javelin like, right in someone's face and just totally destroy him. And you can see Asurus' initiative is high enough to go twice in a row. That's how good he is. It has two hits on him, which is really nice. And we're going to be able to finish off this guy with only slight wounds. You have on right to the crotch. I will not forgive your shortcomings. Um, 
the problem with lights defending against heavies is look at the look at my shield HP. I almost broke my two attacks are gonna break my shield. You know, that's that's the problem. Light shields are don't take many hits, and heavies do a lot of damage. So it's like, eh. it's really difficult in that respect. I probably well I'll probably make it. Oh, use target leg. Uh, target leg lowers your movement. I think for the rest of the battle. I'm not sure. But it, it's a move that can't crit. It always hits yellow, uh, which is normal. It always hits normal. I call, I guess I call crits red, um, normal attacks yellow, and bad attacks blue. So, it, yeah, target like can't hit blue or red. It can only hit yellow. And uh, we'll we'll probably get. Uh, that's it's a different type of meter that we'll see later. It's an effect meter. But uh, that'll that'll come into play later. As we get uh, guys with that, those kind of moves, of course. And oh my gosh, critical hit! Come on, bro. Physical damage. Oh, and we can't hit him. Good. So B Y, B X B, B B B, lots of Bs, and the piercing shot of Quirinius. Quirinius. Uh, Quirinius was the one of the guys you saw in the um, the teaser, actually. So, good job if you recognize that. And there's a the bit of money. And, uh, okay, when you complete a league, you get extra prize money, as seen here. And you get the two cups. You don't get extra experience for beating, for the league beating battle, I guess. So. There we go. All right, I'm actually going to go see if I can't do that one thing that I want to do. <sighs> oh, I hit the wrong slot. That's, that would be why. That would be why it wasn't. I was like, what the crap? It's not there. Slot B, man. I do have a memory card in slot B. I don't have anything. And, uh, actually, we can check this out real quick. You'll this want to outfit shop? your school with the finest weapons and armor you can afford. Shops like this carry all the supplies you will need. Croesus here will talk you through equipping your school. It is an honor to outfit the son of Munio. Please, allow me to show you how to make the best purchases for your school. Yes, to lose a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Alright, so basically, shops are really important. Um, you spend your money to buy weapons. And uh, what's interesting is the required level isn't actually the level it takes you to equip it. It's kind of weird. Um, you can equip level 1 through 5 equipment as an amateur school, and then 5 through 10 as a semi pro school, and a. Any equipment in the pro school. It's really weird how it works. But, like, like for example, a level... Affinity weapons cost a lot more. And if affinity weapons that are high level cost a lot more. Like, for example, this one sword. This one sword costs pretty much all our school's money. And it's not even that great of a sword. It lowers our defense. Uh, better weapons lower your defense, but increase your damage, basically. Swords increase accuracy. Yeah, so we're not going to be really buying much here. We can get a simple shield, though, and I think I'll pick one up. Uh, the shoulder scutum is really good, but again, it's really expensive. So. And uh, we got 14 defensive affinity now, because we can stack with that. Uh, different, different places give different affinities. So, like a different town will give fire and water, or, you know... So, you have to shop around sometimes. Um, Umbo is better than this shield? Is it better? This one is level 3, but it's really cheap, so I think I'm going to pick one up. Uh, I'll let you know a little secret. Um, Peltists, you want to train as air affinity. Because they have unique equipment late in the game that is only air affinity. So, just letting you know that right now. If you're going to train a Peltist, make sure he's air affinity. Because uh, you're not going to be able to unlock his full potential. And Cersei, uh, I guess we'll outfit with Earth. I'll probably make him water. I don't know. We'll see. I have a good air guy, a good fire guy. This guy has to be air. So this guy could be water. Or Earth, I guess. Earth is fine. Oh, nothing wrong with Earth. <coughs> I don't think there's really any helmets that I want to get, particularly. No, those are pretty expensive. Um, just some shields. That, that's the hardest part about this.
campaign is that um oh, in the eternal up. struggle between light and dark man always makes the first move okay so there's just a girl in the cloak just letting you know the heart of the dark god is freed to draw upon the long dormant powers of evil Its darkness begins to spread across the lands. Oh. Some plot development. You don't actually see the effects of that for a long time, though. I'm just letting you know. Like, you don't actually see, like, evil stuff. Eh, but you might soon, I don't know. It really depends on how I play the game. <laughs> it's gonna make me say okay. Cool. Why does it always go to slot B? Why does it sound cut out? Belford is just up ahead. We shall continue our training there. Still thinking about those two channelers, villains? Yeah, baby. Da, 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 da. Uh, so Belfort's another town. It's right on the border with Nordog. So you can find some Nordog guys here. There's well, a couple guys. I did not expect oh, you to be returning here, Eustace. Found a new school, did you? Merely continuing the legacy of an old friend. Ah, so this is what's left of Nuno's school, eh? We have started over again. I am now the head of the school. My name is Valens. You have the same determined look as your father. I wish you well, son. I thank you. So you've come here to participate in some of the finest games in Imperia. Well, you are the god of war. We came here to thrash the competition. <laughs> well then, take a look at the tournament list. All right, so a couple interesting things here. Um, These guys I want. This guy here, Jihan, one of my favorite guys, Centurion, heavy type, very good. Sidrian here. Um, if I can fit, I don't know if I can fit him in my school. I'm gonna check, but he's not bad. And um, this is the bandit that I want. You'll you'll see later why I want him. Uh, the background changes color. You might notice that. Uh, blue background means from Imperia. Green background means from Nordog. And the other reason we don't know about it, we got Blaze here. I'm thinking about picking up Blaze. There is another, um, there is another Legionnaire here that I like, but I don't know if we can get him. And Freitas. Uh, but like I said, we're not gonna do anything here now. We'll come back from that. But there is definitely a lot of things we're gonna recruit there. Believe you me. I'm just going to be kind of hopping around the city's early game until I kind of figure out a pattern. What should we do now? That is up to you. Well, Kalitha. So, you can go to Kalitha and you can actually watch some, some fighting, some gladiator fighting, which is pretty interesting. But, um, yeah. as you can see, I can walk around with Valens now. Talk to this girl here. Good day, travelers. The robbery at Rome. Anyway, so basically, when you're outside, um, if you're not walking on the paths, and even when you're walking on the paths, sometimes you can get into random encounters. Let's see if I can get one. And these random encounters give extra XP, but they're very dangerous because if you lose a if you lose a party member in these random encounters, if they die, they're gone for good. And if Valens dies, then it's game over. So you got to be really careful. And there are scripted battles out here, so there is risk, even if you don't want to risk it. But the nice thing about these random encounters is that you can always run from them. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if they're activated yet. I don't know if the game's that mean. I don't know. But uh, there are certain things that do that. Anyway. Oh, I guess it's morning. I was going to say, I'm going to rest and go to the night. Because during the night, there's a higher percent chance. Uh, in Keltha, we can't actually do anything. Uh, we can watch people fight. But uh, maybe I'll do that next episode. I don't know. But go down here. Uh, there's a tombstone. Cute little tombstone there. Go over here. There's another city. This is the city of Oris, which is a nice fire-based city, which is Ludo's favorite spot. I try to go up here. This guy's like, hey, what you doing? Windward steps. Here, no, the little Windward steps ship. That is the third region of the game. So we're not even close ready to that. We've, we haven't even beat a town yet. There's six towns here. 
And uh, down here we have a couple good cities. This is Krobeska. It's a pretty interesting place. You start to see some very unique enemy types in this game. Very unique classes. I like it. And then we come down here. Um, we have another city here. Trakita, I believe. Yes. Uh, this is where another one of our acquired badges is. So I'll be picking that one up as we go along. But uh, as we go up here, uh, this guy here, we want to talk to him. Uh, I probably won't buy anything because I don't have enough really money for it. But uh, this guy is the accessory seller. Uh, normally, you cannot buy accessories in stores. But if you find this guy around, he sells accessories. And he sells random accessories. They change over time. And there are some really good ones. Oh, they have it, too. Oh, they have the best one in the game. Okay, these these ones, the ones that give damage reduction, super good. I'll be, I'll try to pick up as many as I can, because they're just so good. Um, damage reduction. That's all there is to it. There's just damage reduction. I mean, think about that. Power increase is nice, but having extra damage reduction. It's not like a little bit of damage. It's 50%. You heard me, it's 50% damage reduction. 50%. 50%. It's ridiculous. But uh, we can't really afford any of that now. That was 3,000, so I'm not really ready for that one. Go back to the main map here. And let's go into uh, Cerna. This is actually where the championship for um, the region is held. Interesting enough. And uh, we don't need to go to Trinkets. Yet. Ah, another ambitious school. What makes you think you can handle the challenges that await you here? This school has proven itself many times before. I am sure that we can handle the competition here. So you say, old man. But has this group seen a channeler on the battlefield yet? Okay, here they start playing him up. And they're just they're not a real good. They're we not a great class. Fine. Save your stories for those who require entertainment. You are confident, I see. Well, here is the tournament. Anyway, uh, interesting thing about this part. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just show you, and then I'll probably end the video, and we can do this next time. But, uh, okay, Spirit of the Valkyrie, this is the one you have to do to beat the game. Um, this is the required one, too, is what I mean. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do these three. Um, the interesting thing is, female gladiators only. And, uh, okay. So, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but I just really don't. Only join higher level soldiers. Oh, you're done. Higher level schools. But you're level one. Girl, what you talking about? Uh, I guess we'll come back to this after we get to up to level two, because I think we can hire her after that. Because I want this person, this person, this person. We got a light, heavy, and medium female. I'll permanently, I'll do permanent hire, but I'm only gonna keep them temporarily. Um, just one of those things, you know. Uh, not to be sexist, but I just, I don't, know, I just don't like hiring female gladiators. Sorry if that offends you, but uh, I'm not planning on hiring any. So I'm going to walk my way back to Belfort, and we're going to do some fighting there. Get up to level 2 for our school, and then come back and do that Valkyrie challenge. And then we'll continue. Kind of, um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after that. There's a lot of options. There's just so much freedom in this game. I love it. You can just do whatever you want, really. I hear that the Son of Mania is competing in the game. <laughs> you can see it's raining a little bit. But, uh, yeah, probably going to end it off here. So, thanks for watching this episode of Gladius. I'm your host, Braidenod, and join us next time as we fight some more battles and get up to level 2 and go do the Valkyries Challenge, like I said before. Thank you so much for watching. Braidenod, sign out. Have a good day.